also in Milky Way Galaxy. So there's a lot of things that I loved to do, or not loved to do, that I thought was an amazing thing to do at the time. And I still do think those things were amazing. It's just everyone has this thing in their life where they expect so much from so little. Or they expect so much from so much. And I've lived my life with one huge, not one huge, one big regret that, or not regret, I shouldn't use that word. One thing that I wish I could look back on and do better the first time than doing it, you know, wrong the first time. Everyone has that moment in their life where they, 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 they look it back in their memories. They look back at the past that should, and the thing that went wrong that shouldn't have gone wrong. And I talked about this topic before. Look, every single person has dealt with some sort of, I don't want to use the word regret, but that's what it is. That they, they they think that they did the right thing at the time, and they didn't. They they pushed someone away, or they, they didn't say the right thing in the right scenario, in the right situation. Because every single person on this planet has done something they wish they would have done better. They wish they would have, you know, visualized it better inside their head, and said it better. We all say something that we, we shouldn't have said or something that we should have done but didn't because we thought it was not the right scenario, the right situation, the right time, the right patience to do that situation in. Look, I, I don't know how else to explain it. You know, there's always going to be this part of me, whether it's knowing it in my heart or knowing it in my brain, that I should have done differently in high school. Now, I know high school was a long, long, long time ago for me. And I know she's, who this person that I'm talking about has probably moved on. She's probably married now. She, she might be on her way to having kids. And that's great for her. It's just, my life, I feel like would be so much better if she was still in it in some way shape or form whether she's just a friend whether she could she could be uh, my girlfriend my wife whatever it is not mine it, it would be a collective decision now I know I've said this before on this channel I'm not saying who this person is it's just it seems to me like every single thing that I've ever done or could ever do always goes back to that one moment, that one piece of my life that's missing. And I know that I, I'm probably being dumb or probably being stupid or probably being not bright or is something along those lines for keep, keep bringing up the past and bringing up the, that scenario that I did wrong in high school. I should have asked her out on a date. I should have done this. I should have done that. You know, everyone has that moment in their life where they where they think that they should have done something and then they didn't do it because they didn't know how to approach that situation. Or whatever that is, it, it just it it irks me. It it it's the biggest regret I ever had had in my life. And it, it still haunts me to this day that I didn't, I didn't do the right thing. And I let her, I didn't, I shouldn't say let her slip away. I, I should have been more aware of how I should have done that, that, that whatever that was back then. Whether it was asking her out on a date, whether it was taking her on a date, whether it was whatever it may have been, like do some fun activity with her back in that time and that time. And it still bothers me to this day, even though that was 14, 15 years ago, it still, it still 
it still bothers me that I didn't do the right thing back then. And it, it still haunts me that I didn't do it the way I should have done it. Because every single thing that I've done from my life from back then to now, it still revolves around that that scenario, that situation back then. And I shouldn't say situation because that makes it sound terrible. And that scenario, it makes it sound terrible. It's just, it, 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 it's, it bothers me that I keep, I keep visualizing this life with her, even though that life has completely gone away. That life doesn't exist anymore because that was so long ago. It, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't bother me. It shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be any of these things. I realize that. It's just every single waking moment that I have makes me think back on that on that moment. Makes me think back what I what did I do wrong? Or what did I not do that causes this this memory to keep popping up year after year after year after year and trust me when I say this I've tried to forget that moment I have I literally tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to forget that that moment in my life it just seems impossible to forget that completely it's always going to be the in the back of my mind it's always going to be a memory in my life that I know that I should have done better. That I should have been this this better human being. And I cannot stress this enough. Even if you're thinking that you may have messed up in your life by not by not asking that girl out or not asking that guy out or who whatever situation you're in or whatever scenario you're in, remember that I've already been through that. I know I know exactly what that moment is in my life. I know exactly what that time frame in my life was like. And it still bothers me to this day and it shouldn't. And I cannot I I cannot say anything more than just wishing that I could have a redo. But I can't because that's already past. That's long gone. There's no way that you know it's gonna ever be it's never, it's ever gonna happen again because that's like like I said that's in the past. Now who knows what's gonna happen in the future, or what's gonna happen um, in in the in the far off future or in the very near future. I could have a girlfriend that you know or a wife or something that you know I really love her, but that that memory. That moment in time is always going to be with me in my brain and in my heart. It will be. And I don't know how to get rid of it. Like I said, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to get rid of that memory. I've tried to get rid of that moment in my life. It just, it's just not happening. And, you know, everyone goes through it. Everyone has that memory where they wish they would have done something that they didn't do or did something wrong that they wish they could rectify and it's sad it that's the honest to god truth it's sad that it's still stuck with me in my brain and in my heart anyways i'm not trying to be sappy i'm not trying to be uh whatever you want to call this just the fact of the matter is, is that we all go through it. No matter how easy it may seem, no matter how hard it may seem, we all go through that moment. Whether it's, you know, 15 years ago, whether it's five years ago, whether it's last year, whether it's, you know, like 10 years ago, whether it's 20 years ago, whether it's 30 years ago, whatever the, whatever time frame it is, we all have gone through it. Or maybe some of us haven't even gone through it yet. And think about it. Do the right thing. Ask that girl on a date. Or ask that guy on a date. And if they say no, that's fine. I'm just saying, just be brave.
Be courageous. But don't be too brave and don't be too courageous is what I'm trying to get. Now, I we have one birthday to wish, so I'm going to wish Ashley McDonald a happy birthday today. It is the only birthday we have today. There are no birthdays tomorrow. Uh, I'm planning on going to see a movie tomorrow, potentially. Uh, we have the last weekly task of the year tomorrow. So, with that being said, I will see you tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog. And bye bye